Well, good day, folks. It is March 1st. It's the day all the traps got to be pulled for mink and fisher and weasel and marten and lynx. So I'm out here doing that. Um, coming up to the spot where I'd caught a nice weasel earlier. And it looks like we caught another weasel, a good big one. Boy, that is a good weasel. Another big bush weasel. Excellent. All right, I'll get him out of there and I'll pull this trap out. Nice to catch a weasel on the last day. And I'm gonna check some more sets. And I'll keep you updated. Stay tuned. Just checking some sets along the driveway, guys. Some of my squirrel poles. And there we got ourselves a squirrel. There's another one sitting up here on a limb. This is how I cut my teeth trapping over oh, 39 years ago. Been trapping for close to 40 years. And this is how it first started with snaring squirrels. Snaring squirrels and trapping muskrats and weasels. Those were the first critters I ever caught. So I still like to put out a squirrel pole or two every year and this brings back good old memories. Here we got ourselves a nice red squirrel. A nice bushy tail. Oh, he's it's not even frozen. He just got caught. Excellent. Squirrels aren't worth much, you know. I think I think they were bringing as much 40 years ago when I was catching them as they are now. And then a dollar bought a lot more than it does, but Anyways, we'll get them out of here and reset these. I will be on my way. Well, I'm just checking some of my coyote sets. And I see here we caught a fox. It's been a coyote here. I wish I would have caught the coyote instead, instead of this little fox. But, I guess we will take it. And do them up. And... It's always a sad day when I gotta go around and pull some sets. Coyotes and wolf sets, I'll leave them out for a few weeks yet, but it's always a sad day having to pull everything else. Yeah, darn coyote come and sniffed around here quite a bit. A pee there. A pee there. Man, I wish I could have caught him instead. Oh well, maybe next time. Alright, I'm going to get this guy out of here and carry on. Well, folks, I see that wolves are here at my wolf bait since the last time I was here. There's his tracks. And there's where I set a foothold with a scent post. And the wolf stepped right there. He needed to step there. That kind of sucks. Oh well. I guess if they came in and had a feed and felt comfortable, maybe they'll come back again. I mean, here you can see these wolves aren't too afraid of me because you can see where I walked. It's my footprints, and they walked right on, right on my trail.
looks like one went down that way too i got a snare there but it didn't catch him it looks like my snares kind of knocked over all right well we'll get things propped up here again i um brought some dog poop to put at that scent post i've always found in the past that that really offends them so Sitting with a snare over here too, but there's nothing, 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 nothing. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna doctor things up a little bit more here, and I will be on my way. I'll be on my way. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. All right, folks, I'm on the north side of Sandy. And I see my old toboggan's getting tired. I blew a wheel there. I'll have to get that replaced, but you know, this machine's 14 years old and I've used it hard and it's been a good machine, but she's getting tired. I'm hoping next fall, first sale's good this year, that I can buy a new one. And I think I'm going to be looking at a Yamaha VK540. I think that's what I'm going to be trying to go with. Another machine like this now, a new one, they want like $15,000. And um, this has got the 15-inch track, and the VK has a 20-inch track. Got a high and low range. Just more of a work machine, I think. Anyways, I just come up here and we caught ourselves a coyote. I caught one here earlier on this island. Like I said, this is the staging, staging area. They come across the meadow over that way and they hit this island and then they head out across the lake. And I caught one here earlier and we caught another dog. So hopefully it's a good one. It looks all right. We got ourselves a good head catch. Yeah, he's for it nice yet. Very nice. He's not even, not even woolly on the hips or anything. Sweet belly. Excellent. We will take him. I am happy. Kind of a sad day having to pull my Fisher sets and mink sets and link sets. But I'm going to keep after dogs for a while. Maybe I can catch some wolves yet and some more coyotes. And then a little later on it'll be spring beaver and muskrats. I had... I had this snare right here, I guess, where I had it. But, um, anyways, there we go. We got ourselves a dog. So, I'm going to get him out of here. I don't know if I can reset this here. Oh, yes, I can. I can reset it right there. Off the side of them birch trees. That's what I'm going to do, guys. All right. Stay with me. Well, folks, I'm out here just west of the ranch house. We caught a coyote here earlier. And I see today we got another fox. Same story, there's coyote tracks around here. But we caught a fox instead. So we'll take a look at him. There's always a trail along here that the coyotes use. Like I said, we caught one there, caught one here earlier, just down, just down that way a little ways. I moved the snare down this way after that coyote catch. And like I said, we got a fox. So let's have a look at him. 
Looks like a decent fox. And head catch on it. Little fox. But there's nothing wrong with the fur on it. So I guess we will take it. And we'll get this ram reset somewhere. Well, so far, you know, not a bad check today, but I wish it would have been two coyotes instead of two fox, but take what the good Lord gives me. Hang on. Well, here we go, folks. Come out the driveway, we got a squirrel. Come back in the driveway, and we got another squirrel. Knock this snare around. Having trouble finding the good snare wire for squirrels now. This stuff's actually too damn stiff. And it kind of works, but I'm not happy with it. It's hard to hard to work with. All right. Well, there we got a squirrel. He's a nice one too. A good one. So I'll take him home and get him done up. Talk to you later. Well, folks, uh, that's the kind of day it's been. Um, wasn't a bad check at all, in spite of having to pull a bunch of sets. Um, but two squirrels, a big buck weasel, two fox, and a nice coyote. So that's better than a lot of days. Um, other than that, I just want to thank all you folks for coming along and sticking with me. We will see you down the trail.